Hello beautiful peeps, my name's John, welcome to my channel. Uh, I just wanted to do another video on this uh, great little car, the SG1603, because you're all wrong. Sorry, but it's true. Well, maybe not all of you, but some of you are wrong. Um, after looking on several other people's uh, channels for the review of these, I've noticed that there's an ongoing uh, sort of mistake, in my opinion, and that's about quality. People are moaning about the quality of it. They're moaning that it's not going fast enough. In fact, they're moaning about a lot that's wrong with this car, but you're missing the point. This car is, what, around 70 euros? I think it's around 70 euros right now, because there's a few uh, places doing deals on it. And the great thing with that is you have a car with a gyro, not only fitted, but that actually works. And that's what this video is about, showing you guys the number one reason to buy this car. Okay, so the first test is going to be straight line. The difference with having the gyro on and having the gyro off. Let's get on. Okay, uh, you may have noticed that the wheels are currently white. That is because I've used uh, pretty much a bucket full of my son's Tipex so that it's a lot easier for you guys to see how the uh, wheels are sort of reacting with the gyro turned on and off. Um, so this is currently let me just make sure that it's focused. This is currently with the gyro completely turned off. I hope that that is focused in. Yeah, it looks like it. So then let's see. I am not going to steer. I'll keep this in the corner here. I'm just going to accelerate forwards. Watch this. You see it pulls to the right. If I now go back to the start position and again. So now, watch what happens when I turn the ESP up to about just over f halfway, okay? Good. See how straight that was. And again. So you can see how the car is being kept straight by the ESP, the gyro. So now let's get on to the actual good part, the drifting part of this and why having a gyro fitted is a good thing. Okay, now what we're gonna do is uh, my son Colin is gonna be driving with the ESP completely turned off. This is the first time he's actually driven it and well i mean you're going to see what happens he's going to be doing the opposite lock all the way along you ready yep. right let's go he's attempting to do a figure of eight See how hard it is for him to keep control of the car. He can't react quick enough to keep it sort of in a straight line or in the power slide. Hard, right Colin? Yeah. It's not an easy task with those plastic tyres. Right, now, if you hold on just a moment, what we will now do is on the controller, if you can just lift that up, you see where it says ESP? Yeah. Turn that up to just over halfway. Uh, where are we at? No, just over halfway, there you go. Okay, go on and go.
Is that you doing the opposite lock or is it it doing the opposite lock? Huh? It's doing it. Okay, this is a good time to jump in and show you the slow-mo of the uh, gyro working. Um, as the car's coming into position now, it's going to get to a point where Colin turns into the drift. And now if you look at this point, see the gyro actually stepping in and doing the opposite lock for him. really good example of how quickly the uh, gyro is reacting that's Colin now turning left again and the gyro again instantly catches the slide for him very good example of how the gyro is working Nice, Colin. Very nice. Okay, stop a second. Okay, what we're going to be doing this time is just showing the uh, gyro doing its job. When uh, Colin's driving, he's just going to flick the steering one way, and then when the opposite lock goes in, then you'll clearly see that that's the gyro working because I'm going to be recording his hands as he's doing it. So if you can just put that into the sunlight, Colin, just slightly. There you go. Right, now. You can go. How he keeps on letting go of the throttle, uh, the side of steering. It's then the gyro that's going back to, to centre. Okay, once again, Colin's just going to be uh, flicking the steering to one side, either left or right, and then releasing the steering, and it will be taking over. So the gyro will be doing its best to keep the car straight. So we'll do it a little bit, and then we'll do some slow-mo so you can see the gyro in motion in slow-mo. Kick on, Colin. <laughs> Okay, I've now taken control and the ESP is just slightly over. So let's see if I can do an improvement from yesterday, shall we?
Okay, let's see if I'm any better with the uh, driving than what I was yesterday with this figure of eight. Uh. Oh. I'm just going to flick it in like that and let go. See how it catches it? So I'll do it again. It's very cool, very cool. I've been up for three nights My eyes are bloodshot red Damn, I want to see the sunshine It's getting to my head One look in the mirror Don't like what I find I know that somewhere in there There's a good guy But he runs away At midnight I'm sorry I wish I were the same Making bad decisions, it should be my middle name I love playing with fire, it's my favorite guy Watch me burn my whole house down, I feel a thing One look in the mirror, don't like what I find I know that somewhere in there there's a good guy But he runs away at midnight I'm sorry that Okay, I hope that we've shown you the whole benefit of having a gyro on one of these cars. I was advised to buy a WL Toys K989, I believe it is, the little, well, same sort of size uh, Ford Focus, I believe it is, um, but that doesn't have the gyro on it. 
So that's the reason why you should be looking at one of these and why everybody else on YouTube is raving about this car because it has the gyro on it. And that does make a difference. It's really hard to try and show you. It's one of those things that you'll know the benefits of it when you're trying to drive it yourself. When it's turned off, this is really hard to drive. Once it's turned on, it does help for sure. Turn it on too much though, it goes over to then just being a hindrance where you can't actually get it into the slide. It just keeps on trying to straighten up too much. So, there you go. I hope this video was useful to you. If it was, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And then I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.